So in our last um, video, we talked about saving the user to the file or the database and uh, using their name, the first name and last name to save them into the DB. Our next step, like I've already said, is to, um, well, before we save the user, we have prepared the user object in this way. We need to check, we need to check if the user already exists. We need to assign ID to the user. Uh, for, to assign the ID, we need to count all the users and then assign the next ID to the new user. So for example, um, let's comment this so we don't have that error. For example, I have um, in my database right now, I have two users. Here I need to count the amount of users. So count all users. This was going to return two. So my next user should then be ID three because I have two users there. My next user should be ID three. So we are going to be making this dynamic. Let's let's do that here first before we check uh, if the user exists. We are going to count all users. So let's see how we can achieve that. There is a method in uh, PHP called scan directory it's going to list all the files and directories inside the directory so for example uh, this is an a folder we are checking they are trying to check for all the files in the folder and it's going to return an array so all we have to do is to count the array and use that to determine the next id we are assigning to the user so let's try it out. I need to just copy this from here. Just write this and say count. Well, and then let's just say all users. And then I'm going to do this for my directory, which is my db slash users. So I'm going in here to count all the user, users that I have. This is going to return an array, and then I'm going to count the array, count all users. So I now have all users. So we might still need this data. Of course, we'll still need this when we want to do the check if the user already exists. So right now, what we're doing is we're collecting all the users in our database. It's going to return an array, and then we are counting the value from here. So that will help us to say new user ID to be equal to count all users plus one. Or you could do this and then assign that here, new user ID. So we are counting all the users we already have, and then we are assigning, we are increasing it by one, assigning it to new user that ID, and then doing this. I'm going to do this to make it easy for everyone to understand. So I expect our new user ID to be equal to zero now. Let's try that out before we move on. Um, on our page, we'll go back to register. And uh, we will, let me make this unique so that we know it's a new user. And then select lab to register. Let's come back to our barcode. So we have uh, this person here now, and our ID for this person, okay, so the ID is five, I'm not sure why. Let's see, oh, that's because, okay, let me just print this out for you, so you will see why. There are always hidden folders, hidden, um, hidden folders in most of these um, directories. We have the dot and the dot dot, let me show you that. So let's print out all users. It's going to print out an array of all the users in our database. Let's come back here and try this so that we can see it printed it out. Um, okay, I need to also stop it. So what I'm trying to do now is select all users and print that out so that we will see the content of that folder, of our database folder. And then if I don't stop the code from running, it's going to just continue as usual and redirect it to the login page. 
But once I do the die, that means it's going to just stop here and print this out for me. So again, I'm going to try that. Um, select, select, and select. And then you see we have at, at index zero, we have the dot. At index one, we have the uh, dot dot. So usually we get that. Uh, if yours doesn't have it, you can doesn't have it, you can uh, skip that aspect. So what I'm going to do is to firstly do a minus two, and then increase it by one. So my minus two is going to be taking us these two. Uh, these two, index zero and index one, and then increasing by one. So that simply means just take one from it. Let's try this out. I mean, I think uh, minus two plus one is minus one, so that should work. So let's try it out again. Uh, refresh, submit. Let's check um, what we have. For the third user, which is, I'm not sure, I think it's a uh, uh, let's let's try. It. I can't I can't remember what uh, name we use. ID test. So we know it's this exact one. Now we expect our ID to be. We expect it to be uh, one two three four. We expect it to be five. So let's register and come here. And this is the new user, and the ID is now five. The next user is going to be six. Uh, so that's what it means to have something that, that auto increases. Auto increases count everything you have and then assigns a new ID to the person, the new user you're bringing on board. Now we've been able to assign ID to them. Uh, let's clean this off. So our next step is to check if the user already exists. Now, right now, what we are doing is we've collected all the users we have in our database because we are using their names to save the files. If I print this out again, if I print this out, I'm just going to use the code from here. And I'm going to also suspend my um, validation here. Can I? Should I? Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. OK, so go to register. Um, sign up again using a different name. Uh, select this, select that, um, do this, and register. This is still printing out, which is fine. Now, this user is saved as Mike Ali. Um, I've saved my users with uh, their names. I'm not attaching their their. I'm not attaching the um, the ID to the names yet, so I can also attach it. I can also attach it um, to when I'm saving it. Where is it? Here. Can attach the ID, the user ID here. So now it's going to save with the first name, last name, and the ID. But it makes it a little harder to check if the user already exists, uh, exists or not. Um, that's because a user can have two users can have uh, the same name. And it's, it makes it a little harder. So I'm going to switch my method of saving it. I'm going to use their email. So my validation is going to check if that email already exists in our database. And that's how we are going to be knowing if the user already exists. So let's change this up. Um, I'm changing it to email. So I'm saving, I'm saving this file with their email. And this is going to now return their email. So let's try that. Uh, I'm going to empty my database just by deleting them from here. And delete. Delete. So once I empty database, I have a new set of data. And I expect ID to be one, to be one initially. Yes, because this is going to be two, then minus one is going to be one. Let's try it out. I'll go back, um, refresh my page, try, and just let's test this out. Submit it. Now it's saving it with my email. 
and everything is in place and my ID is one and it is fine. So I can then come here. I can then come here to check if this user already exists by saying, look into the database, um, the all user array, which is um, this array here. And check if the email already exists. So in our next uh, video, we're going to be talking about loops. That's how we'll be achieving uh,